point, ancestors looked at the landscape and tried to figure out the best ways to maximize abundance. And just like any human community, they're gonna figure out areas that are appropriate for certain activities and inappropriate for others. Our research has shown that the island of Kauai had five of these biocultural zones. The, what, the first zone that we talk about is the Waukanaka, which is the habitation zone, the cultivation zone, basically your Safeway zone. And that's where you're growing your food, um, everything you need uh, on a daily basis to, to eat and live. It's where you're putting your houses, where your the largest footprint of your community is. It's where you're farming, so you're fishing, you're, you're doing aquaculture, you're growing fish. Um, it's where you have your temple worship, your recreation. And that's all in the Waukanaka, which is generally the coastal zone. Um, the next zone up is the Waula'au. That would be basically your Home Depot zone, where you get your construction supplies, everything you need for life, but maybe not on a daily basis. Um, things aren't replenished as quickly up there, um, but that's okay because you're not uh, extracting every day. So you're taking your Polynesian introduced plants and your native plants, um, and you're growing them together in an integrated forest. Um, so you're, it's going to be your hardwoods, your fuel sources, your medicines, your dyes, everything you need for life but you don't need on a daily basis. It's a highly tended forest that is managed to be perpetually abundant in um, resources in, of that nature. And the next area up is the Waunahele. The Waunahele is the remote forest. Uh, if you look at the old documents in the archives, it talks about um, that being the zone for the bird catchers. So it's going to be a place that was reserved for native biodiversity because that is the habitat for the birds that uh, produce uh, most of the feathers. can go up there to cut down wood for, to make a canoe or something, but it's so high up, it's not really conducive to access. So you know, the only people who would get up there were the bird catchers for the most part. And then above that, you have the Waukele, which is an even more remote part of the forest. It's perpetually saturated. Um, it's really cold, not so comfortable to be at, so people wouldn't be there too much. Um, but that area is below the clouds. Once you get up into the clouds, that's the Waukua, or the sacred forest, which um, had a lot of restrictions on it for access, and there's probably no extraction allowed in the Waukua as an area which served a really important function in the old system, such as being the core watershed that was uh, maintained and remained intact. It is also the refugia for native biodiversity as resources were extracted from the forest in the lower elevations they could always be replenished from that refugia.